What's going on, boys? Welcome to Misfits Manor. You know, there's no holding back. It's very spiteful. Intentions are bad. That is my opponent. And I'm going in for the kill regardless. So it doesn't really matter too much about what the relationship is. He's still getting knocked out. This is the gaff. This is the gaff, yeah. Shows a tour. A little tour, okay. Uh, this is my room, um, which is, it looks nice, but it's for uh, my, my content, really. But yeah, this is uh, pretty much an exact replica of my room in Michigan. This is your training buddy. <laughs> this one, yeah, this is the main sparring partner for Evil Hero. Uh, little, no. I don't really know what this is. My, my girlfriend got it for me for, for my trip. I, I don't really know what it is. It's a little bit fruity, but I, I like it. It's, it's a cute gesture. But um, yeah, this is the gap, bro. Are you friends with most? You, you used to be friends with most wanted. I've been friends with most wanted in the past. He's, it, it's, I mean, I'm fighting him. So I, I have to find every reason to dislike him and have spite in somebody. Like with Jay, I liked him too. And like, even leading up to the fight, I had love for Jay. And now after the fight, obviously I do as well. But beforehand, I have to find every little um, thing that he does disgusting. Like I have to hate him, I have to train out of spite. So Most Wanted and Evil Hero in my head are both trying to take my opportunity. They're both trying to take everything I've worked for, take away everything I have really. I was really scared of Coach Salt because uh, he was there training Salt. And uh, it was my first time meeting everybody. And at that time, I was like, I mean, obviously I still am a fan of the scene, but at that time it was like complete, like I was brand new to everything, like everyone. Everyone I saw was like, whoa, like you're actually a real person. So um, I saw Coach Saw, uh, we were in the lobby and like I had my group and he had his group and some people knew each other. So they started talking. And the only thing I knew him from was like the whole Deji situation where like, him and, him and Deji had their little thing where like Deji was in the camp and then left the camp and uh, Coach made like his exposed video. So I was really scared of him. And uh, we made eye contact and obviously I had to talk. And I was completely wrong. I was right about him because he's a dick and he cusses me out constantly. But like we just like right off the rip, just clicked just like that. He started teaching me stuff right away. He like had his hands like this in the uh, lobby, and this is the thing, this thing that tri trips me out. Um, we, we were doing like pads. Uh, I think we, the first time we spoke, we were just there for like six hours, just talking about boxing, walking around the O2. But he taught me, throw the one, two, put the hand in the pocket and then throw the hook. And that's the shot I knocked Jay down with. And it's like, whoa. It's <laughs> the first thing this guy taught me. Yeah. Hi, could I please do a half chicken meal with rice? He'll get oh, the sauce. And he's very coachable. And, you know, in that last camp, people don't see it. But, like, he went through a lot of shit. Didn't you? Say anything? Yeah. I mean... Like your first spa? Oh, yeah. Well, I'll go into detail, too. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, the whole camp, really, i say it was a turning point in life for me. Especially because I was staying with you. So you could you know fix me about my posture and everything but you know it's it's not easy because i was in school not too long ago now i've left school i've left the country i've got so much back home i've got you know my family i've got a girlfriend i've got all my friends i've got literally everything back there and i'm coming into this new world doing a training camp which i'd say out of the misfits people we take it a lot more seriously i'd say like bro from that camp insanity Oh yeah, and there's no, there's no light, light shit at the gym. Ain't no, no, which is, well, at least we know the next thing. So there's the at home thing, you know, we're at Airbnbs and, you know, we didn't really have yeah. a place to call home that entire camp. So there was no comfort even when you get back from the gym, but at the gym, at the start of that camp, you know, before I started really clicking on with the, the style that we're working on, it was shit, like, not, not shit, it was just... It was hard, on not feel? There was one day where I literally... I sparred this, this dude. I don't particularly like him. To this day, I don't really like him. Um, and the spar was just, I, I'd say he got the better of me. 
And it was also because you were telling me to do certain things and I was trying to do it, but I couldn't because I wasn't there yet, you know? It was the style that we were beating Jay with, but it wasn't as sharp as it was. And I went outside, I was so pissed off, I was crying. But I was so, like, irritated. I mean, it was just, it was like that. And it was a lot of that kind of stuff going on in that camp, you know? Like being yeah. away from home. Uh, well, I said to you, didn't I, that day? Like, because he was really upset. And that was, was that your first bar? I think it was, wasn't it? It was definitely the first. Movie. His first, yeah, it was maybe the first or second spa like he ever had at the club. And like, he got out of the ring, he threw his gloves, and he was outside, and I'm like, you piece of shit. Like, who the fuck do you think you are? So I went outside, and I said, come inside. And like, he had tears in his eyes, and I was like, bro, you do know, like, this is not going to change. You're going to have to deal with this. Like, you're going to have to get better, get stronger, because guess what? You're sparring that guy every fucking day until you get the better of him. And I was like, that's it, that's your thing now. I said, I get it, you're away from home, it's hard. No, it is, and now you're getting chucked in, you're around a load of people and it's really tough. We don't spar light, light sparring don't get you nowhere. It will never ever get you anywhere. So that's what happened. I was like, you're gonna have to spar him every single fucking day until you get the better of him, which he did. So. But I could only imagine, man, like, I'm, I'm twice his age. Like, at that age, that must be so hard. But I didn't allow it to be hard for him because I forced him to do things. And to be totally honest, he didn't allow it to be hard for him because, like, he's got so much drive, man. Like, at that age, I don't think I'd do it. Like, I'm, I'm man enough to admit it. I don't think I would have been able to put up with that. And maybe if I put up with the first camp, I would have been, fuck that, I'm doing that again. Let me go somewhere a little bit easier or something because He's 18, isn't it? Yeah. But he's clearly got drive, he's clearly got passion, and um, that's going to take him right to the top. I said it like a long time ago, and I said it twice, and I haven't been wrong. I'm not, listen, I'm not no saviour or anything, but I can see people that have good work ethic. Like, I'm, I'm very good at that. I said it with Salt when he fought Halal Ham. I said, this guy's going to be like a star. Like, because I saw how hard he'd work, he'd be willing to do anything. And he became a star. And said it on the interviews about him way before he even joined the camp. I said that kid's going to be the future superstar of Misfits because he just has so much drive. These guys, like, they're different to normal humans. Fox, who, who are the best Misfits fighters that you've sparred? Best Misfits fighters I've sparred. I mean, it's kind of a no-brainer. But in the camp, it's it's definitely salt. Um, he is an asshole in sparring. That's what makes it difficult. I think the most pain I've ever been in was last camp. We thought he broke my rib for a second, didn't we? He uh, he kind of hit me with like a body body shot, a little uppercut right to the chest, and it was just the most pain. Coach, what do you, what do you say after that? He started working on that shot. <laughs> yeah. So <laughs> I'll tell you the little story behind it. So. Yeah, he caught Fox with this. Fox kind of kept having this little habit, and um, he picked up on it, and he, he threw this left uppercut, landed it right on the chest, like right on his chest plate, and it, we thought he might have broke his ribs, but he was bruised. And then we came in, and like, I told him, so, so, yeah, Fox won't be in tomorrow because he's going to rest it. And he's like, oh, okay. And then when Fox came back in like two days later, he said hello to everyone, and he said to Fox, oh, hey, Fox, I've been pra practicing that shot and he mimicked it, and uh, I don't know if Fox knew what was about to come, but I think he threw it, the third shot back in the spa with Fox. It was about 10 seconds in. Yeah, about 10 seconds back in, he threw this exact same shot, but would I ever tell him to not do that? Not at all, I think, again, that's something that's gonna happen in a fight. He's not going out to injure him, he's recovered, but you're gonna find scenarios where in fights, your opponent's gonna pick up on your weaknesses, and yeah, Salt's just a mean guy in, in sparring. Proper yeah. mean. He don't care who it is. He really wants to test you, doesn't he? Yeah. He wants to push you, and he wants to. He does want not injure you, but he does definitely want to hurt you. Oh, like he know. hits you with the intent to make you drop. I would say he wants to drop you sometimes. Evil here. I've been wanting to fight for a while. You know, um, this one's kind of like a. It's for the for it's for the for the OG people that that knew me before I started fighting. It was always evil hero this, evil hero that, and um, you know I, I thought I would be evil hero back then before that camp we had with Jay. Now it's just it's it's gonna be bad, bro. 
it's going to be really bad. Um, if Evil Hero is the one that gets knocked out, I would expect him to go to sleep and stay snoring. I really would. Which one would you rather knock out? Most Wanted. Absolutely, 100%. Undoubtedly Most Wanted. I, I mean, I, mo I have most number, to be honest with you. Um, whenever I'm visualizing the fight, whenever I'm thinking about the fight, um, it's very rare that I imagine doing the job on Evil Hero. I would say 95% of the time I'm imagining Most Wanted getting his face punched in. 2v1 is something that we've not seen before. Potentially, the first man since KSI to have two wins in one night or two, two names on the record. I have a question actually about that. So if the first one comes in and he doesn't get to tag out because I put him unconscious, have I technically beat two people in the same night? Correct. Then yeah, I will be the first person since KSI it's to It's like do that. tag team. It is similar to tag team, yeah. This is the shit, man. I don't know what it is, but every single pair of boxing shoes I get just get tarnished. So that's, that's a bit fucked up. Uh, same shoes I fought Jay in, so they're sentimental to me, but I guess I'm getting new ones for the next fight, shit. <laughs> God damn. Are you a fan of KSI, pre-Misfits? Pre 100%, yeah. I think that's why I got into Misfits in the first place, because I look up to a few people on Misfits on the first event. I looked up to Deji as well. Um, it was just, it was a cool thing. Also, Alex Wasabi, I was an Alex Wasabi fan. No one knows that, but back in the day, I really liked Alex when I was like a lot younger. So um, it was just all those guys, I was just like in awe when I first went there. And I was like, this is what I want to do. I want to build myself. I want to be one of them. You know, I want to be um, what I, I was a kid looking up to them, and now I want to be the person that kids look up to. Talk to me about how, how you felt when this idea of 2v1 came about. To be honest, it wasn't much of a thought process. I said I'm down because um, I'm always up for a challenge. Um, I showed that, like I said, with the J fight. Doesn't matter who you put in front of me, I'm going to take it. Um, it could have been any two of these guys, and I would have still said yes. So um, I love it. It was initially going to be two in one night, which I loved as well. But I honestly like this even more. A tag team, it's more entertaining for the people watching. Come on, bring it up. Bring it up. There we go, hang on. Right hand after. Roll under after. 